Hey Salam, I hope you guys do well. Hal Altruf is back for another video and this time I'm making carbonara. Carbonara is a famous Italian pasta dish made with hard cheese, eggs, black pepper, etc. We're gonna prepare our carbonara using two cheeses, pecorino romano and parmigiano reggiano. For this pasta dish we're gonna use bucatini, which is almost like spaghetti. You're really gonna enjoy this pasta dish. Without further ado, let's get started. Are we gonna start by toasting the peppercorns? Toasting before crushing them enriches their aroma. And you know the resulting flavor is a bit more spicy, a bit more smoky. It really increases the intensity of the pepper. Even if you go like a grinder, you know, you can always toast them before adding them in. We're now going to grate our cheese. I'm using a mix of Pecorino Romano and Parmigiano Reggiano. You want to use the finer setting on your grater to make sure the cheese is nice and fine. It will then just melt away in our sauce. Be careful when grating cheese, don't cut your hands. Once you have grated the cheese, remove it onto a bowl for later use. We're also going to use some of this beef bacon. This is roughly around 400 to 450 grams of smoked bacon. It has tons of fat which is exactly what we're looking for. We're going to melt away this fat later and use that to thicken our sauce. Cut the bacon into medium pieces. Don't cut it too small. And also try to keep the pieces into a similar size so they will all cook evenly. Once you've cut this just remove it onto your plate. Now for our carbonara mixture you want to separate the yolks from the eggs. I'm gonna use around 4 egg yolks and one whole egg for roughly around 400 grams of pasta. Traditionally Italians would use the whole eggs but some of the chefs do use just the egg yolks. And our whole egg. Now you can use the egg whites for an omelette. Now grab a ball in with your egg yolks. You want to break the egg yolks and give it a whisk but not too much. The reason for that is we want them to stick to the pasta when added later. Now over the cheese, pepper and just a light touch of salt. Again give that a mix and combine all those ingredients. If it become nice and thick that's exactly what we're looking for. Now here we have the typical mixture carbonara to set aside for later use. Now grab a pan and turn the heat to low medium. When the pan is nice and hot in with your beef bacon. You want to brown the bacon slowly until it starts to release oil. You don't want to burn the bacon, so just nice and slow. Let it release all the fat. You can see it's releasing all of its oil. Just another minute to go. Or I can see the bacon is nice and crispy. And the fat has separated from the bacon. Now just remove the bacon onto a plate. Drain that excess fat. Also save this fat for later use. Now for the pasta you want to use spaghetti. You could also use rigatoni. I'm using a bucatini which is a tubular spaghetti. It will absorb the sauce even better. Add a good touch of salt in boiling water. And with the pasta, slowly add the pasta inside. Let the pasta cook for around 13 minutes. For the carbonara, the pasta is fully cooked in the water because later on it's mixed with the sauce of the heat. This pasta must be properly al dente at the start, unlike other pasta dishes which are finished cooking in the hot sauce pan. Let's check our pasta. It's nearly ready, just another minute to go. I will let it taste if you like. You can take a bite to check if it's done or not. Or right, just turn off the heat now. Now you want to drain the pasta but not too much, just leave some water with it. When the pasta goes into the mixture, the eggs will feel the temperature and slowly start to dissolve. Like I said, don't drain it too much. Add some of the pasta water as well to melt the mixture a little bit and create the emulsion that we are looking for. A really good mix to that. That looks amazing. 
Now in with the fried bacon, I'm just gonna leave some to decorate at the end. Give that a really good mix again. Add the leftover fat from the bacon. This will thicken the sauce even more and add more flavor. Finish off with a good touch of black pepper. Good mix to that. Give that a mix to thicken even more. Here we have the most amazing carbonara. A perfect creamy texture with lots of flavor made using a bunch of simple ingredients. A touch of the cheese on the top. Some of this bacon. A touch of the black pepper. I guess I'm gonna try this. It smells amazing. Bismillah. Hmm. Wow. That is so delicious. The beautiful emulsion of the sauce. Mmm, so delicious. The amazing flavor of Parmigiano Reggiano, the beautifully cooked bacon. One of the best carbonara that you're gonna try. Carbonara is one of the best dishes out there. Italian dishes is all about using few ingredients. You can get a perfect dish just by using few ingredients. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, make sure like, and shall I'll see you next time. Until then, salam. Make for your mom, make for your dad, make for your family. Enjoy.